G'day guys, and welcome back to J-Man Speaks. Today, once again, we're jumping in to Aussie dating to see what is on offer for you dirty little bastards at home, perusing the dating apps. What is out there for you? Let's jump in, let's see what uh, the experience is gonna be like. About me, this is my official girlfriend application. <laughs> I love the footy, sure. I love a drink, I love playing pool. I love board games. I love my alone time. I have my own friends. I have a job. I don't live at home. I'm very independent. I have my own money. Plenty of it. I don't rely on anyone. I will pick you up if you go for a drink with the boys. I will... Here we go. She's just trying to say everything that a guy wants to hear. And who knows, this could be true, but I, I, every chick I've come across that has come across is the cool girl. I call it cool girl. It's a chick who just likes everything you like, Every joke you say is funny. No matter what you say, they laugh at. Whatever food you like, they like. Whatever sport you like, they like. They'll put up with you. Say you want to play PlayStation. They'll put up with you and watch it. They'll sit there making out like they actually like enjoying and want to play. They'll go to the footy with you. They'll go camping with you. But we all know, guys, six months down the line, Good old little Miss Cool Girl cracks start to show in that little facade. And all of a sudden, she doesn't like the footy. She doesn't like your mates. She doesn't want you going out getting pissed. She doesn't support that. We've all been there. <laughs> so this is what you're fucking getting. But hey, let her sell it to you, boys. It's like like me saying, yeah, to a chick. Yep, I've got a million dollars. I'm going to give you a thousand dollars a day. Um, I am going to treat you like a princess. I'm going to take you everywhere you want. I don't care. You can talk to any guy you want. I'm not going to ask you where you're going or where you've been. No problem. It's not like that's not true. It's like the female version of that. I literally drop you off. I don't even care. Sure. I have my own friends. Um, I love camping. I love fishing. I love sex. Come on. Oh, yeah. Let's throw that one in there, guys. You love sex. Yeah, they all love sex for the first six to 12 months. And what happens? Well, once the uh, the claw gets in, the hook gets in, get old, uh, the shop gets shut. The shop's only open a couple of days a week. It used to be open seven days a week. Now it's only open two days a week. Then it's only one day a week. Then it's only one day a fortnight. The shop owner's sick. She's had fisherman's basket. She's shitting all over the bedroom, all over the fucking toilet, spewing up everywhere. Because she had a Chico roll. You say, oh, let's get some action. Oh, no, I had a dirty onion Chico roll for lunch. You'd, you don't want to go there. And I'm like, no, I'm still going to go there. She goes, oh, I had some um, hot prawns and they were in the Bay, Bay Marie for three hours. Oh, I've been shitting all over the joint. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though, guys? It's just like... <laughs> Don't believe that, the, the old uh, nymphomaniac thing. They know that's how the hooker guy. She's smiling, she knows, she knows. What am I missing here? Someone fucking enlighten me. About but let's, let's be real, right? If she actually wanted to have a boyfriend, so many dudes would go for her. She's all right looking. Like, I'm sure under that and whatever. But she looks quite fit. She's out, you know, active girl. Seems like she's got an all right personality. But nah, she's going on the top of the top, right? Top of the top. All right, here we go. Now this is um for whatever reason this chick's single, all right? But let's just say she's probably destroyed about five guys' lives. She's probably been married twice, um, has three kids, um, has taken superannuation of somebody. It's just these ones here. And you got all the guys in the comments. Oh, oh, yeah. Where do you live? Oh, what state are you in? I'm going to come get you. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Forever alone. Please look after me. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. No guys, once we know what you're doing, you're trying to suck in some idiot. And there are hundreds of thousands of them because this post got 712,000 likes, boys. 712,000 of you fucking cockheads at home chasing this shit. Uh, can't get over it sometimes. Guys saying they want to move states. So she said she's in Melbourne. They're like, which is a place in Australia, guys. It's a state. You are beautiful. Okay, let's read some of the comments. You are damn beautiful. Love heart base. Thank God I'm coming to Melbourne then. Let's get together. Those eyes are dream eyes. They're angel eyes. Oh my God, guys. Come on. Come on. You're embarrassing me. 
Let's play it again. So I'm going to read these things out. She's 24, guys. So good guys who aren't watching um, and listening. So it's a blue eye, very good looking woman. Probably got a bunch of filters. Looks like she's got some massive bolt-ons on there as well, guys. Um, conventionally, very attractive. Um, they call these black widows, boys. Black widows, spiders. They will kill you. They're a redback. They're crawling out of a crack to bite you. Five foot six. She's from Melbourne. She has 6,200 followers on Instagram. Well, I don't know how that's relevant. Single, forever alone. No kids and she's Aussie. Well done, love. Don't know what that means. Anyway. But, you know, as I said, these chicks are single. Well, she's probably an uh, OnlyCans creator. I reckon she's trying to funnel attention uh, to apps, etc. Girls will do that. They go on the apps. These are good-looking girls. They suck a guys in. Oh, yeah. Don't tell me you guys have never had that before. I have. I'll admit it. You go on, you're talking to some chick off uh, Tinder, Bumble, Hinge, whatever it is. You've got you onto WhatsApp and they go, oh, yeah. Oh, if you want to talk further, I've actually got to talk through this website. Um, and you've got to put your credit card details in. Don't tell me that hasn't happened to you before because it's happened to me heaps of times. Heaps. <laughs> oh, they suck a dickhead in every time. Yeah, this is what I call, um, this is plenty of fish bait, guys. So I talk about slappers. Slurries, this is stock standard slurry you're going to see on plenty of fish who are straight away going to try and sell you only cans material. So let's have a look at the montage, boys. I've taken the sound off because it's um, a copyrighted song. But let's just take a look. I'll play it twice for you dirty bastards because I know you're going to want to see it again. Oh, <laughs> and what's up with that? Hang on, let's stop it. Out. Oh, there you go. Oh. Now I'm going to try again. Hang on. Here we go. A bit of um, fat titties. Here you go. Look at that. You get a bit of fupa there. You know the old fupa? The gunt, as we call it. She's definitely got one of those, but she's sexy, guys. What's with these chicks? You see them on dating apps as well, and they um, look at these pictures of them in their... Um, lingerie and shit like that like what guy is actually going to think that that is a good idea to actually want to take a girl like that seriously i don't know maybe they're just there for tension farming probably guys anyway guys halfway through the show uh if you haven't subbed please subscribe uh to the channel uh like and comment that really helps me out gets me out there but what does get me out there the most guys just watch my video show to the end um if you do want some uh to support the channel more, please check out my Patreon, link in the video description and the pinned comment. Let's get to the back end of the show. Here we go. So the, I like this video. The reason why I picked this video is just goes to show you that girls have no game. They just lose it, especially when there's a good looking guy that they're after. Good old Brycey. Please tell me why. I'm at the shops and I see this guy and I'm like, hello, <sighs> hello. And then he looked at me and I looked away because I... I get so shy. I don't know why I get so shy. He looked at me. I looked away, then I looked back at him, and then we looked at each other. And then I noticed he had a little kid with him that was playing in one of those car things. And then I like looked away, and I thought, oh, well, he's obviously got a partner. But then I was like, maybe he's a single dad. Anyway, I had to go to the toilet. That's why I walked past him. And then as I came back, he took steps towards me as I was walking. And I, I got so nervous. I put my head down and just kept walking. And I, I think I just missed... I think I just missed the love of my life. All you could have done, so she's got this whole thing in her head. Maybe it wasn't his kid. Maybe he was babysitting, all right? She's created this whole fantasy, this whole thing about this guy. He could have been a complete dweeb, complete loser when she talked to him. But no, it's the love of her life because she got swept up in the emotions. And that's what um, Bryce's do. That's what Steve-O's do, guys. They get these chicks caught up in the fields, and that's how they get these hot chicks. Literally, first or second night, in the backseat of the VN boys. Like, in the... They get her behind the cooker ground. But that's, <laughs> that's what happens. That's how they do it. They get them all muddled up. And you know what they do? After that, they do the Jason Bourne. So if you guys haven't watched my show or you're new to the show, the Jason Bourne's a maneuver when you go on a date. You say what you got to say. You, gotta, you do what you got to do. You're mysterious. You're a secret agent. Whatever you got to be, right? You say what you just got to say. Lie, whatever, right? You don't care. You get the date. You do the deed. You say to her, yep, I'm going to call you when I get home and text you when I get home. As soon as you walk out of her house, you've got a disposable Motorola Razor. Snap that in half. 
throw it in the fucking bin. Bang. Open the bin. Punch a durry. Spark one up. Walk to the VM. Get in. Fucking burn out on the way out of there. <laughs> uh, so this one here. Once again, boys. So when I, when I bag single mums, because... As I said, I don't think all single mums are bad. I'm not saying date them, but I'm not saying they're bad people. These are the single mums I'm talking about. These are the plenty of fish chicks. Plenty of fish bait. You know, they're on a RSVP. They're on an adult friend finder and all that sort of shit. Absolutely loose. Absolute filth. Oh, I've got to turn that off. So it says, before you all consider dating a single mum, and then she's going to point and do these stupid things. Just know, we are all running a shit show trying to hold our sanity together. We will never have our time until bedtime. Well, that sounds good, doesn't it? Sign me up for that. Sign me up for never, ever actually having access. Awesome. Hang on. What was that last one? Kids fight. There's no sugar coating. They can be a pain in the ass. Exactly. Taken on, um, we call them socks. Have you guys ever heard the um, the acronym socks? Some other kid punts with a C, right? We got to call them punts. Some other punts kid. <laughs> uh, filth guys, but these are the ones. These are the ones you go down there. They walk out the front, right? They open the they open the door, right? You, you've um you've met them off plenty of fish. You go over there, little Jaden, Braden, and Jackson. They've been thrown in the bedroom, guys, with a pizza, right? With a Nintendo Switch. Always talk about this. Mum's locked them in. She's put a chair up on the door handle so they can't get out, right? You're walking through. You hear them banging and shaking the door like little gremlins in the room. Trying to get out. You're looking around the house like, oh, shit, this is a bit awkward. She's pulling you through. She's wearing a, she's wearing a nighty, and you know that underneath, there's nothing underneath it, or there's some little skimpy little outfit, G-string. that doesn't even look good on her because you've got a single mum rig going on. Anyway, she's been thinking about it all day. She's prepared for you. You walk in, derobe, get it on, pam, pam, pam. The kids next door can hear her head. The kids in the next room next door can hear her head hitting the hitting the wall. She's screaming. Ah, 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 ah. Little Billy's there with his, with his couple of mates that are over for a sleepover, saying, "Oh, I think they're wrestling in there. I don't know what they're doing." <laughs> this shit goes on, guys. I know I'm pretty out there with the jokes, guys, but I'm telling you, it happens. Been there, done it. And I just thought this one was a funny clip. Um, almost became um, self-aware. Almost lost for words there, guys. Almost became self-aware. Got so close, but she couldn't quite get there. I'll play it twice because it's a short clip. Why is it that all the boys I start to like decide to never reply to me, but then all the ones that I'm not really that interested in are really good at replying? Is that just a rule of life? Why is it that all the boys I start to like decide to never reply to me, but then all the ones that I'm not really that interested in are really good at replying? Is that just a rule of life? It's not a rule of life, but I think it's a rule of dating. So that's, that's the way it goes, right? You've got the Chads of Bryce's, you've got these chicks who are some, um, the female version. I don't know what a, what's a hot chick's name in Australia? I don't even know, right? But they're that version that all the guys love, you know? I, I ask guys who watch this content, we obviously don't try and fall head over heels. When we've been there, done that, we know it doesn't work out. But there, for every one of us, there are 10,000 other guys who don't know about this stuff, uh, and they just have an endless stream of dudes who are chasing them on dating apps. Now, that's what she does to them. So she's got a whole set of fans, right? A whole set of fans in her inbox, Instagram, liking her stories, messaging her, Facebook, hey you, how are you, hitting her up. She loves it, loves the attention. She's never going to meet him. But then she, that happens to her with the dude who has heaps of options or the dude with heaps of options who's got a roster and she might down the bottom, be down the bottom and then when he doesn't have an option that night, he works his way down the list and maybe she'll get a call up you know, to the roster and she'll be there. She'll be there, she'll drive there, right? Well, she's got 50 other guys that would be awesome play husbands in her inbox. Uh, but she goes in and, and bangs Comanchero's bikey. Gets put in the Alex uh, Luger torture rack, as I like to say. Uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you watch all the way through, appreciate it. Cheers. See you in the next one.